Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As a CDR or critical design review of AMCA, India's fifth generation fighter jet is complete. The discussion for the approval of fund for the development of its prototype has also geared up. The extensive inter-ministerial consultation on cost, design and level of indigenous content on AMC program has also been completed. In April, it was reported that DRDU has approached the Cabinet Committee on Security for the approval of the fund. AMC Mark I, which will be powered by GF414 engine and which will also power the LCF Mark II fighters, is almost ready for negotiation. The negotiation for the 100% transfer of technology and manufacture of engines in India is almost at its last leg and is expected to be formally inked during PM Narendra Modi's upcoming visit to US. It is being reported that AMCA funding approval can be expected around September or October this year. AD has planned to develop five prototypes of AMCA for flight testing at an estimated cost of Rs 15,000 crore. The cost of fighter jet will further reduce when the aircraft enters into full-fledged production. Since AMCA is an indigenous fighter, it would be still 50 to 60 percent cheaper than the imported fighters in its category. As per the projected timelines, the first AMCA prototype will roll out four years after CCS sanctions the fund, with production to begin another six years after that. In summary, AMC will take 10 years to enter into production from the time when funds are granted for its prototype development. Indian Air Force will be inducting AMCA from 2035 onwards. Seven squadrons of AMC has been planned to be inducted, which includes two squadrons of AMC Mark I powered by GF414 engines and five squadrons of AMC Mark II to be powered by indigenous engine, which is planned to be developed with foreign collaboration. Talking about the common features and specifications of AMCA, it will have an overall length of 17.6 meter, wingspan of 11.13 meter. It will have maximum takeoff weight of 25,000 kg and max weapons payload capacity of 6,500 kg. AMCA will have 14 hard points where it can carry the 6,500 kg of weapons payload. In stealth mode, AMCA will carry only in its internal weapons bay having total payload capacity of 1,500 kg where it can carry 4 missiles. So in its internal weapons bay, it will be able to carry two Astra beyond visual range air to missile and two Tara missiles. AMC can also carry two saw bombs in place of one Tara missile. In a different configuration, AMC can carry four Astra or eight saw or four precision guided munitions such as JDAM or Tara in its internal weapons bay. In non-stealth mode, the aircraft will carry 6,500 kg of weapons, including internal weapons bay and external pylons. AMC's fuel carrying capacity is 6,500 kg, which is almost more than 2.5 times of LCA, which has fuel capacity of 2,400 kg. The max speed of fighter jet is going to be 2,600 km per hour or Mach 2.15 with combined range of 1,600 20 kilometers and service ceiling of 20 kilometers. AMCA will incorporate features like serpentine air intake to reduce its infrared signature, internal weapons bay, aligned edges, and heavy use of radar absorbing materials to provide it the desired stealth characteristics. The divertless supersonic inlet or DSI with serpentine decks will conceal the engine fan blades to reduce its IF signature. AMCA is being designed to have first look, first kill capability. To achieve this, AMC will feature long range radars and sensors with extended range. The three most important sensors of AMCA is going to be gallium nitride based Uttam AAC radar, IRST sensor and integrated electronic warfare suite. The IRST is a passive sensor and will be capable of detecting targets in the range excess of 100 kilometers. DRDO is also working on indigenous laser designation pod or LDP, which is used for detection, recognition, identification, and designation of surface targets. 
The distributed passive sensors with artificial intelligence assisted multi sensor data fusion will increase the situational awareness of the pilot. The system will work in tandem with advanced electronic warfare suite. The distributed processing system of AMCA will feature fast processors and smart subsystems. The early warning system and network centric warfare capability of AMCA is further going to increase the coordination among the pilots. The advanced situational awareness in AMCA is achieved through multi spectral sensors placed across the airframe of fighter, which will allow fighter to have 360 degree of visibility without maneuvering the fighter. This is an important characteristic of AMCA, which will enable the first look, first kill capability. AMC pilot will be able to detect and destroy adversaries fighter aircraft without revealing its presence to the opponents. Another interesting feature of AMC is going to be voice activated cockpit. AMC will have 3D audio warning system in cockpit and voice activated commands which will reduce the workload of pilots. The AMCA will have a glass cockpit equipped with a panoramic touchscreen display for enhanced man-machine interaction, a multifunctional display placed in portrait orientation, and a wide-angle holographic heads-up display. The AMCA will have hands-on throttle and stick HOTAS arrangement with right hand on stick and left hand on throttle setting to ease the pilot workload. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.